What if bees suddenly disappeared from the earth? Could you live without honey? How about clothes? How about coffee? Bees are the lifeblood of the food chain. Where would we be without them? This is what if. The only way a plant will bear fruit is if it has been pollinated. It's important to know that bees pollinate 70% of the crops that feed 90% of the planet. In other words, a third of the food you consume. So what if the last bee were to die today? Within three months, worldwide crop yields would plummet. Your grocery store would lose about half of its produce, while the price of a Golden Delicious might soar to the price of gold itself along with most other fruits and vegetables that rely on bee-assisted pollination. That includes apples, almonds, avocados, broccoli, carrots, cantaloupe, coffee, cucumbers, eggplant, kale, lemons, limes, I'm out of breath, let's just jump to zucchini. It's not just produce that's at stake, beef, milk, and cheese. Bees pollinate alfalfa, cows eat alfalfa, and the average human consumes about 75 pounds of beef per year. Starting to see a connection? food chains would collapse. Within six months, most farms would have to convert to wheat and corn fields. Those are wind-pollinated crops that can survive without the help of bees. But how long could you live only on rice, bread, and oatmeal? Our diet would suffer, becoming blander, less diverse, less nutritious. Health complications would arise due to malnutrition. Medical costs would soar with them. As the price of food and medicine skyrockets, our economy would take a serious dive. Bees account for roughly 200 billion in global agricultural revenue. But don't sweat it, that may be your last shirt. The United States is the biggest cotton exporter in the world. The industry rakes in $25 billion a year and employs 200,000 people, not including bees, who pollinate the cotton. So without them, consider this cash crop liquidated. Canola oil. You might think it's just for cooking, but it's also a valuable biofuel that comes from a plant brought to you by bees. Without it, the world would have to rely on more coal and fossil fuels, increasing the strain on our already overburdened environment. But hey, we still have New York. It'll look just like the way it did in the 1880s. It's not a pretty sight, but where will you go to find one? Without bees, most plants can't grow or reproduce. Large-scale desertification would take place. Huge landslides could wipe out entire villages, and severe drought would starve the survivors. Fresh water would start to disappear, since trees are needed for water retention. And well, there'll be a lot less trees. This brings us back to shrinking food resources, plant and animal, leading to mass malnutrition, widespread famine, declining human fertility, and eventually, what if? What if hand pollination were enough to make up for the catastrophic loss of bees? What if scientists succeeded in building robotic bees or pollinator drones? These methods are currently being tested, but at great cost. What do you think a world without bees would look like? Pesticides and parasites are taking their toll on bee populations. The scenario is not so far-fetched. Can we really live without them? To be or not to be, that is the question.